As the coaching carousel continues to turn, one name that keeps coming up, Steve Spagnolo. We know he was just fired by the St. Louis Rams as their head coach. Right now, he might be the hottest candidate for defensive coordinators, and there are a few teams out there that need one. We've heard Philadelphia not officially needing a defensive coordinator, but what are you hearing about Spags and possibly Philly? Well, first on the Philadelphia situation, Andy Reid has not made a decision yet on Juan Castillo, who was the embattled defensive coordinator, and I know that unit turn, turn it around by the end of the season, but they haven't made a decision on that. Reid is on vacation right now, and I looked into the NFL.com report about Spagnuolo possibly ending up in Philadelphia this week, was told that was not true, at least not yet. So I don't think anything's brewing with his return to the Eagles. Remember, there were uh, a little bit of hard feelings there because he wanted to go to Minnesota to take that job. Andy Reid blocked it, wanted to prevent himself from losing Jim Johnson at the time. So may have been some hard feelings there. And it's interesting. We've heard from uh, people around the league say that Spagnuolo could take a year off. He mentioned that to Brian Burwell in an interview. And why not? You're getting paid by the Rams. You know, sit back and wait for the ideal situation if there isn't one right now. Where do you think if he does decide to coach next year, where would be a good fit? I think Philadelphia is a great fit in terms of he knows a lot of the personnel still, uh, having been in the NFC East recently, a, few, a couple of holdovers that were still there when he was the linebackers coach. You know, and I think the scheme and the system and the identity of what he wants to run on defense would fit in line with what Andy Reid wants. The Giants still in the postseason. Yeah. We know Perry Fuel still there, but we've heard that maybe he was on the outs. Obviously, they've played a lot better down the stretch, so maybe that's not the case. But with Spagnuolo available, could that be a fit? I'm told no way. You know, I, I ran that up the flagpole before the uh, Giants went over the Falcons and said, no, 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 we love Perry Fuel, we love what he's done. And guess what? After that 24-2 to win, that dominant defensive performance, all the players were saying, the reason why we're so good, Perry Fuel. I expect him to get a raise, if anything else. So if you're Spags, what are you doing this year? I think I'm taking the year off, you know, write a book, go travel, do something. I mean, look, John Gruden and other people have only increased their stock by sitting out. And so I think Spagnuolo could do the same thing. He's pretty sharp in front of the media. I could see him doing some TV work as well. Obviously, it didn't work out in St. Louis, but you figured down the line, at some point, yes. there's going to be another chance for Steve Spagnuolo. That's the latest of what's going on with Spags for the best coverage of the league. Check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the Draft tab at ProFootballWeekly.com.